getting the gears in my head running and so they can crunch down the problem. Good morning, here are the guys from Germany. I am Thomas and my guest today is Achim. Good morning, Achim. Good morning, Thomas. Good morning, Good. world. So you solved day three of Advent of Code. Please tell us what was it? Exactly. We have uh, somewhat uh, to get a gondola lift uh, running again, and uh, there seemed to be some part missing. So we get some kind of schematic or map or so, and it reads some part numbers, but only those who are adjacent to some kind of symbol. So a star, a hash, a plus, a dollar, for example, are symbols. The dots do not count. Yeah. So in this, in the sample data, the 114 and the 58 are no part numbers and are completely irrelevant. They do not touch a symbol in... Exactly. Okay. But this one is adjacent diagonally. This is uh, direct, directly below. This is to the left. Okay. And so forth. Okay. They count. I the 755 it. also counts. What was the hardest challenge for that? Uh, getting the gears in my head running and so they can crunch down the problem. Something like that. Okay, it's Sunday, it's early, I got it. Okay, and, and second... That's not the stuff I usually do, so... But it's an, an interesting riddle. Okay, and what about the second part? In the second part, uh, a twist is introduced that, on, that uh, only gears are relevant, and the gear is defined as being around a star symbol yeah. with exactly two adjacent part numbers. Ah, okay. The point is uh, that, as far as I see it, you, uh, around the star, you can have up to six part numbers, one to the left, one to the right, and uh, two in the line above and two in the line below. Yeah. Maximum of six. I got but it. But only if you have two, then uh, it's relevant. Okay, nice. And if you find, so I have to, a short backtrack to the first part. There you have to sum up all part numbers that you find, but it's not distinct part numbers. It's the it's the numbers of all parts adjacent to any symbol. What do you mean exactly? I get to that when I go onto the code. Okay, go. Then now we go to the code. And for the second part number, you have to calculate the gear ratio and sum these up. So, for, to the code. Uh, finding a symbol is not that difficult. I go through the input, line by line, character by character, yeah. and each character that is not a dot and not a digit is a symbol. So you are um, the, the test data is read it uh, line by line currently as a list. I have a utility function for that. Okay. Yes, and then it's very helpful. It's row based, okay. And then you guy go by go line by line, line by line. Exactly, Good. line by line and character by character. And having found a symbol. I then go forth and detect the part numbers around it. Yeah. So if I'm not in the top, if I'm not in the top row, I can look into the row above. If I'm not in the bottom row, I can look into the row below. Yeah. That is the very same method I call. And uh, if I, and on the row I am currently on, 
I know, okay, I have to look at the right, the, to the left and to the right, and can find two part numbers there. To concat all these strings as a whole number. Exactly. This method is also called from these ones, and I go directly into the search top or bottom. Um, if I look into the top or into the row above or below, then if the character directly above is a digit, then I have only one part number. If it isn't, I can have two. Yeah. So for the case that I can only have one part number, I scan to the left, fi finding the start of the number. If I come to an index below zero, I have to reset it to zero. Then I, I look to, to, from my starting position to the right. If I'm running, and um, here's a specialty is um, the, for the left index, I'm, I'm with this loop, I'm running across the number and end one field prior. But if I do, I have to step one back. Okay so that I have the right index for the substring operation. That's yep. why this K++. Ah. For, and then you for take the other direction, I don't need it because, because the second parameter on substring is the character directly beyond the string that I want. Yeah. So this index is, inclu is, inclus is, in is inclusive in the result. This is not. So you use directly substring to get um, all the digits together as a as a number. You know. Okay. Uh, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I pass it, uh, add it into my list. Job well done. If I can have two part numbers, I call the search left and right, which I also do for for the center row around my symbol, and. Here I search to the left, pretty much similar than the other thing. Yeah. And if I detect yay, that that thing has a distinct length, then I have found a part number. And I'm doing the same to the right. And if I have something that seems to be a, a part number, then I can add it as well. Yeah. Weakness of this code is uh, if a if a part number is adjacent to two symbols, oh. but I have the impression that is no problem with my specific puzzle input, <laughs> because in that case I would count the very same part twice, and uh, that would uh, prob probably be faulty. Yeah. Okay, something else. Um, yeah, we have a little bit more code for part two. Okay. Okay, now, now we start with part two. Exactly. Uh, for part two, we have to find only the star symbols because they are at the core of a gear, which are attached to exactly two part numbers. Yeah. For me, that was thankfully very easy. I more or less copied the code from the part one method over, switched this condition over to that I am only interested in the star symbol. Yeah. I think it's an asterisk. Okay, it doesn't matter. It's a multiply star, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, I start the exact same method to find the part numbers and then check if if it's exactly two part numbers. And if it is, I multiply them with each other and uh, so, and put the result into my gear ratio sum. 
and that's the result. That's the result. And that's all. And that's all. Uh, what was the most fun um, for this riddle for you? The second part, actually. Because? Because, because it, it somewhat felt like I needed it to be. Um, this also shows in my personal times. For part one, I used 42 minutes. Yeah. And got ranked 4,800. And for part two, I only used something like five more minutes and got uh, clo and got a little bit below rank 3,200. Yeah, nice. So goal is be under the first thousand. <laughs> you on a good way. Let's see. Doesn't happen that often. Achim, big thank you. Some special last words. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, everybody. Bye.